Hi and good afternoon, my name's Simon Hayter and I'm a website designer for Bybee in Bournemouth. Today we're going to be looking at how you can add review stars uh, to your products or services on Google or Bing um, using external sources. Uh, now before we start I just want to clear up to avoid some confusion. Um, product reviews and services are different from uh, local search engine reviews uh, and I'll just show you the difference between the two now. So I've searched for Doom 3, uh, one of my all time top favourite games and as you can see this is a product and we've got the reviews here and we've got the reviews there and so forth. So that's what we're going to be looking at. Um, what we won't be looking at is local stars. So if I just type in web, web design Bournemouth as you see we've got stars here uh, this is the the local results um, this is a completely different algorithm they take reviews from Google Plus and other sources uh, from other different uh, citation sites so we'll be looking at products and services in this form and not in this form so let's have a look at uh, a page I made earlier um, this is a Star Wars Death Vader stress toy. Just a quick page I threw together uh, to show you how it will look and um, how it will work. So this is what I throw together. You can see I've got a reviews tab there. So they can be hidden. They don't need to be uh, actually seen. As long as there is some kind of uh, trigger on the page, then you face no problems with Google Bing. So uh, let's have a look at the code uh, of this website. So here's the code. Uh, I'm in Sublime. Um, and basically I use Sub Foundation to do the uh, Sub Foundation 5 to do the template. Um, and here's the code. So I'm just going to show you uh, what it looks like in uh, the structured data testing tool on Google's uh, website so I'm just going to validate that so I have done some markup uh, prior to make this video I'll quickly go over that because you do need to, uh, obviously you can't just chuck in the reviews without having uh, the necessary additional uh, markup uh, which is but yeah okay so let's head back over to uh, sublime and I'll quickly go over what we've used so uh, we've got our header here and we've got this is the actual content wrapper. So I've used item type equals schema.org forward straight product. Uh, that tells uh, Google and Bing uh, that it's a product. Uh, product is also defined as service as well. So there is no such thing as uh, service as of yet as far, far as I know. So just use product absolutely fine. Um, We've got the H1, which is item prop name. So that tells Google uh, the name of the product. We've got an uh, item description, which is item prop equals description. And we've got that there, just uh, uh, bacon ipsum I used earlier. We've told Google uh, the image. Uh, if you've got multiples of images, then you would just uh, add that to each one. Uh, we've got our tab content here. Um, and as you can see, we've got the color, we've got item propped equals uh, item propped equals color, and with the value black, item prop uh, equals brand and relaxy, because that's the the makeup name of the business I came up with. Um, now, when it comes to the price, we need to wrap it up as uh, uh, give it an item type, sorry, which is schema dot offer dot com for straight offer item propped equals offers. Let me just move that and put it there like it looking nice. Uh, we've marked up the price, which is item propped equals price. We've done uh, a hidden element, uh, meta content equals GBP, uh, which is uh, Great Britain pounds and price currency. So we're telling search engines the currency. We've also done another hidden element here, which is link HREV and it's in stock availability. So basically we're telling um, the search engines we've got it in stock here's it saying it's in stock for the customer there's our buy it now button and estimated uh, shipping date which is not marked up you don't you know i'm sure you could mark up everything on the page but um 
in this tutorial we're just looking at how to add reviews uh, on external websites so here's our review thing here so nothing is in it as yet so let's not waste any time and let's start um, with the reviews so the first thing we need to do is we need to make an element which is a div and we're going to go prop equals and we're going to it's aggregate rating and it's item scope I'm going to go back here and I'm going to give it an item type and it is HTTP for straight for straight schema scheme forward stroke capital A Agra gate rating close that off and then do that just make sure you've got no spelling mistakes yep that looks good to me so go down tab it let's uh, say uh, rated and then we do another span so basically we're telling uh, the customers the rating and the search engine so uh, rated and it's a uh, span item prop equals rating value and we're saying five so it was rated five and then we're going to say forward stroke so five uh, rated five out of five based on now we're going to say how many customer reviews we've got so we're telling uh, customers we've got it's five out of five rating uh, from five customers based on so span item prop equals review count five close that off customer reviews all right so uh, rated five out of five based on five customer reviews we're going to close that uh, element off now now because we're using a uh, uh, we're using uh, an external review uh, from it could be check trade it could be trust pilot we basically we're gonna quote what that customer said about your product we want to tell Google and Bing uh, that it is a quote uh, so it takes an it, it doesn't rule out that you won't get a, a penalty for duplicate content but uh, basically duplicate content I'll just quickly go over that quickly now duplicate content uh, a lot of people worry about it it's not something you have to worry about if you've got unique descriptions and you, the, the, your site generally does have some uniqueness to it if you're 100% copied uh, like an Amazon clone then yes you're not going to get very far and yes you're not going to get any search ranking so um, as long as you use things like block quote and you've got unique descriptions and people like your website then you've got nothing to worry about so we're going to do a block quote so enter that I'm going to type just put that down there we want to give that an item prompt equals review item scope and as always I always forget item type equals HTTP for straight schema dot org actually I noticed a mistake I've got up here I need to make sure that's all up there as well and it's forward stroke review that looks good so now we're going to give it a name use a h3 you can use anything you want I'm going to use actually a h5 in this instance because I want it nice and small uh, so name now the name bit uh, I normally do the name off the review so um, I normally give it a unique name so if customers like said fantastic service or fantastic product you could use that as the name so in this case I'm going to do uh, excellent product close that off then what we want to do is uh, give it the customers review uh, what they gave us so do another div element so item type equals and it's dot org for straight rating 
and it's a hidden value because we're uh, informing Google uh, of the worst rating possible. So worst rating equals oh content equals one. So that is the worst rating you can give it. So it's not uh, a zero. So start a new paragraph off. We're going to do span. We're going to do uh, oh, item prop equals rating value. I want to say five, and then we're going to say out of. And we're telling Google, uh, so it's five. Uh, so the worst rating is one. We got a five, and we're now telling them uh, Google the the highest value we could have got. So in this case, uh, best rating. And we're going to give it a value of 5. So we got 5 out of possible of 1 to 5, not 0 to 5, if that makes sense. So we're going to close that span off. And we're going to, uh, for the customers, we're saying we got uh, five, out of star, uh, 5 out of 5 stars from this person. We'll close that paragraph off. We'll close that div off. We'll start a new paragraph. And now we're going to give uh, the actual review description. So item propped equals description and we're, this is basically what the customer said. So um, the, the guys at Relaxi uh, delivered an excellent Product. So I've used a keyword, so excellent product. I've put that in the name as you can see up here. So if they say excellent service or fabulous, you could put that as the name of the review. It doesn't really matter. The guys that relax you delivered an excellent product. I I highly recommend them to to all. So we're gonna close that paragraph off. Then what we want to do is tell Google where that uh, review comes from. Um, so it, it, yeah, so because we've used the block quote, it's always best practice to um, cite your source. So footer, we're going to do that in the footer of the review. Cite, and we're going to do a link. Uh, in this case, it you would put check trade or trust pilot or a uh, Yelp or anywhere else where you got the review from um, but in this case we're just going to use hashtag because obviously it's just an example so item propped equals author let's put um, oh let's put uh, Chuck Norris as ours obviously you'll use a, a real name then I'm going to do uh, a hyphen. I'm going to do an invisible meta. So meta item prop. We're going to tell Google when this was published. If you're not sure, then uh, just leave this bit out. So item published content equals. I'm going to say 2015. I'm going to say the seventh. No, we do 12 over 12. And then we're going to do that. And then we're going to actually, so that's for all the search engines. Now we're going to inform uh, your site visitor when this review is left. So 12th of December 2015. Then we're going to close. Um, enter on there. Close off that site. Close off that footer already closed the block quote from earlier so hopefully we'll copy that just get rid of that uh, white space so hopefully assuming I haven't done any spelling mistakes this will validate okay so we've got uh, unspecified type so uh, worst rating rating value uh, best rating so there's a an error with the worst rating of rating value okay so let's have a look where I went wrong quickly so 
Don't you just hate when this uh, doesn't go right first time? So, worst rating. Um, Maybe it's because I haven't done an item type or item propped. Ah, uh, I see. So I think it's going to be this one here. Or is it? Yeah, it is. It's, it looks too light. For, so item scope. And then we're looking at... Uh, Item propped, possibly. Yep, item propped. Review rating. Okay, fingers crossed. Sorry about the delay then. Bingo. So, as you can see, worst rating one, rating value five, best. So, we got, sorry, we got a five. Um, the best rating was 125. There's our description. There's the name of the review. Uh, there's an, uh, a link to the author. I'm just wondering why that author's name's not come up. Maybe it doesn't because... Yeah, it is there. So, author... Oh, yes. So, if, I, if it was like um, hashtag Chuck Norris, it would actually... Uh, give us the value there so yeah that's fantastic so what you would need to do is repeat that process five times so why is it saying there's an error here unspecified type ah silly Billy that's where I am um, where I gave you an example earlier of the product and service I took that out so if I Copy and paste that, go back, validate that, and as you can see, all good. And then if I uh, went back to the code, let's, uh, let's copy this quote five times. Oh. So one, two, three, four. Copy that. Obviously, you don't want to be using all the same ones, but just for this uh, tutorial, I'll do that. So, five reviews, and we've got five out of five. So, as you can see, there's all the reviews. There's our citation, uh, the, the site and the source. And um, basically, with Google, it's not a guaranteed process. It depends on the services and product you're selling and what niche they're in. Um, but other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that's uh, cleared up any questions you may have and hopefully you'll be able to Im implement uh, what you need to do with the information I've given you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.